In this video, I'm going to tell you what happens when a house doesn't appraise for the purchase price. Hey, I'm Kevin Huddy, aka Huddy Buddy. Welcome to the Huddy Buddy channel, where I give you a bunch of useful information and tips about real estate, plus what it's like to move to and live in Sacramento, California. So like I said, I'm gonna tell you what happens when a house doesn't appraise for the purchase price. When your house doesn't appraise for its purchase price, it can affect your mortgage and it can affect your contract too. Remember that mortgage lenders use the appraiser determined value to input the value part of your mortgage's loan to value calculation. If the appraised value is less than the purchase price, then lenders use that value to determine your loan to value. Unless the seller agrees to lower the price, you'll have to increase your down payment to get the same mortgage payment and interest rate. So when your home appraises for less than purchase price, there's a few potential outcomes. Number one, the seller and buyer renegotiate a new lower home sale price. Number two, buyer increases the down payment to meet new loan to value and down payment minimums. So number three, the seller and the buyer agree to cancel the home purchase contract. And number four, the buyer or seller requests an appraisal rebuttal. The possibility of a bad appraisal is among the reasons why home purchase contracts are written with an appraisal contingency. Should the home fail to appraise for its contracted purchase price, contingency clause allows buyers to reevaluate and potentially walk away. Appraisal contingencies are also sometimes used to renegotiate contracts once an appraisal has determined that there has been repairs that need to be done or things that need to be replaced. As a home buyer, it's risky to waive your appraisal contingency. You may lose negotiation leverage if the home appraises for less than its purchase price. So if you enjoyed today's video, make sure you hit that thumbs up. Give me a call if you think about buying or selling in the greater Sacramento area. Don't forget to subscribe so I can update you on my new videos. Until next time, guys.